Yeah. Are you are you playing with your Christmas gifts? <laughs> it's always like Christmas when Jay oh, sends us stuff. <laughs> no, he said so. I opened it up, but it, it all like popped apart real quick. Look at a pair of gloves that actually go to the same, um, not the same hand like I have. Yeah, for some reason, Jay sent us gloves, and we had them for a long time, and then all of a sudden one day, all we had was left hand. Oh, that's all I had was left hand. Yeah, I don't gloves. know what happened to it. I got a couple pair of those. Oh, and I got, this is like a cozy. That's what it'll be. I'll call it a cozy for around a beer. Let's find a beer. Oh, you going to put go your... around a beer? Yeah, put pencils around your... <laughs> Why are you so out of focus? Mm. Oh, maybe because I, I, I need my it, glasses on. I think it would be a cozy around a beer. Hang on, I got to get my glasses on. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, let me see what I'm... Oh, yeah, you're okay. Well, it's not big enough for a... A beer what, what, are, what exactly are they? I think you put them around there, your cu coffee cup, and then you put little things in there. Oh, no, not a coffee cup. Hang on. Well, a cup. Let me see. Let's let's get let's get a let's get a. Oh, and here's cup. one. Oh, this, the, here's a thing for it. I, I, okay. I, I ripped it off. So it shows kind of a coffee cup. Oh yeah. Now how the heck are you supposed to well, drink coffee then? You're just supposed to use the coffee mug, but don't drink out of it. You'll end up having it all over you. Oh. <laughs> Pretty so, cool. Yep. Yeah. So some glasses there. You sent quite yeah. a lot of those. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. That's and nice. Then, um, and we can share those. And then I think we got some... These are new cards that he had made for us. Oh. Check it out. Oh, cool. Yeah, I really like those. Yeah, so if you've ever ordered stickers from us, we always try to put a handwritten little letter on the back of one of those. Yeah, with every card. And then... Yeah, very nice. And those business on. cards are really great because when we're out meeting people, um, instead of trying to write our name down, we just hand them one of those. They've come in extremely handy. Oh, barbecue rub. Oh. Everglades cactus dust. Jay, what are you saying? I gotta cook Scotty some ribs. Yeah. Oh goodness! And then Everglades all cactus purpose seasoning dust. here. Ooh. Dang. Yeah. Oh, I probably got a lid on. I don't want to open it now. Ooh, take that off. Let's smell. Yeah, I might like. I'll snort it and then be like. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, smell good. Yeah, smell that. Ooh, -ee. what is I it called? I want to smell that one. This is Everglades seasoning, all-purpose seasoning. Wow. Let me smell then, that one. Yeah, and then the cactus barbecue. And it's even a little bigger. Let's see, what does it say? Ca what is the name of it? Everglade cactus dust. Okay, I'll have to make barbecue something with that rub. and let you guys mm -hmm. know how that tastes. Yum. Ooh. Oh, that smells really, really good. Is it rib? Yeah. It's, it smells oh, like... Oh, yeah, that's going to make some nice mm. pork chops or ribs. Yeah, yum. It really yeah, it smells good. good. Jay, oh, thank yummy. you. Very, very sweet. Yeah, thanks, buddy. So, what are we yeah. doing today? <laughs> we're going to wait till nine, between 9 and 10, and we're going to leave San Antonio so we miss all the big traffic. 9 or 10 at, at night. night. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Aja, we got up this morning, and we all had a few things to do. And we decided we would leave late at night because of the traffic. So that's Absolutely. what we're doing. We yep. did not film a whole lot here just down in San Antonio. But that's just because it's Aja's family. and just we had family rain. time. We did have family Absolutely. time. It's always so nice to be here. So, All right, guys. We'll see you guys when we get on the road. Cactus Rob. Yeah, oh. yummy. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. to also say uh, answer comments somebody asked us uh, how we shower um, contrary to belief we do have a shower <laughs> some people seem to think because we travel in a camper that we don't have a shower but we do we've got shower and it's all one unit, so there's no um, way for this to leak. This is just a storage area in here, but this is like uh, how they do on boats where the water cannot get inside there. And then that's a heater vent and 
that doesn't get water in it as well. And then I just, oh, and then what we do is this comes across like this. The only problem we've ever had with this is one time Scotty forgot to put that, uh, close this, and the water will come out into the door if you don't uh, pull this curtain and you do have to shut the door so that the curtain stays in there or you'll have one big mess and then what I do is we have our shoe rack holder here which is where all of my oh my hair dryer and our q-tips and our all oh, everything's in here we've just got a whole bunch of stuff in there and I just put a clear uh, shower curtain up there when I go to take a shower, I just hook that up there, and that way I don't have to take that down every single time. And then we just let it dry after we're all done. And then that just works really well because it doesn't get into any of that. I just tuck it behind here, and that's it. So it's a little bit uh, smaller quarters for taking a shower because you've only got this much room, but you can sit on the toilet and take a shower and shave your legs and do whatever you need to do. Anyways, that's it. We do have a shower. We do have a toilet. We do not use a bucket, as some people think. And that is one of the things that Scott and I, when we first started traveling, we told ourselves that was not something we were giving up. We were not giving up a, a flushable toilet. Yes, we have to empty it every couple of weeks, but uh, that's fine with us. We'll, we do that and then we don't have to worry about the other ways of going to the bathroom when you're traveling. So it's easier for us. Wasn't worth the compromise of using a bucket. So anyways, that's it. How are you doing? <laughs> you get a little nap? Oh, I did take a little nap. We are getting ready to roll out of here. As you can see out the back door, it is nighttime. It's dark. And like we told you guys this morning, we were waiting to let the traffic kind of calm down in San Antonio. It is 8.14 now. So, our plan is to leave at 8.30. We're going to go in and say goodbye to Aja's aunt and uncle, which is going to be sad. They are great hosts, and they just, it feels like family here. It's wonderful. And... We're going to get on the road. I was answering your guys' comments, so hang on just a minute. Uh, no. Oops. All right. Scotty's been kind of working throughout the day, putting things away, getting things uh, ready for travel. When we've been parked this long, sometimes it takes a little bit to put everything away, get everything back where it needs to go for safe travel, <laughs> so that it doesn't get broke or fall out of the cabinets. And I have no idea where we are staying tonight. Probably at a Walmart or a rest stop. And then we'll get up uh, pretty early in the morning and travel. Our first destination is going to be Houston. And we're going to meet back up with Dina, Steve, and the kids. Because they have been there for a week now trying to get their uh, appointments taken care of. But they should be done right about the same time that we roll in there. And then from there, we're going to Mardi Gras. So that will be fun. And Scotty's sister lives there in Louisiana, so we're going to visit with her. And we haven't seen his sister for a long time, so we're pretty excited to meet up with her and her family. So, that's what we do. We just have to get everything put away. Get all the... I'm not going to take all the cameras up because obviously it's going to be nighttime. There's nothing I'm going to be able to show you guys except for city lights. So, once I turn this off, then we'll see you guys in the morning, hopefully. Alright, got my phone, my charger. Aja's got the directions of... Uh, 
which way we're going. So I don't need to worry about that. I'm not used to traveling this. Well, we travel late at night sometimes once we're already on the road, but I'm not used to like leaving a place and then like traveling, especially when we've been sitting for the last couple weeks. So this is a little bit different. Okay, glasses on my phone. Ugh. Stove lighter needs to go away. Hey, Steve. Uh, said you'd say <laughs> Scotty's singing so I always just go around and just make sure everything's kind of latched Scotty does it too make sure our vents are down which that one was not double check everything because you don't want to lose a vent on <laughs> and you don't want these things opening up okay yeah there's no nothing like Walk in the back of your camper and seeing all your soup cans all over the place. We had that happen. <laughs> yes. A couple times. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Make sure this vent's down in the bathroom. Yep. Every once in a while I forget to put the um, lotions and stuff away in the bathroom and we end up going in there and there's stuff on the floor. It's there. a disaster. Yeah. Okay, the stays are going up. Stays are going up. It's always exciting to get back on the road and see new stuff. But these kind of trips, when we stay somewhere like this, especially like in family with family, it's hard to leave. So, okay, I'm getting out because he's putting the jacks up. Talkie on, girl. I gotta turn this off for just a sec. Ooh, I'm gonna turn that on just for a minute. <clears throat> oh, that's always so sad to say our goodbyes like that. Let me get you guys focused. What is wrong? <laughs> oh, yeah really hard to say goodbye to such good people yeah Lee and Virgie thank you so much for your hospitality you guys are Again. just wonderful you are like family to us and we just we love you Mwah. thank you guys okay we got to get some gas and a couple waters and then we're ready to be on the travel. road we're only gonna travel for um, about an hour. We just want to get out of the city limits, I guess is Correct. what we're doing right. Um, so we can get up in the morning and just have a clean shot to Houston, I think is probably what we're going to do. Unless we find something fun along the way. I just talked to Dana from Full Tiny House and she said there's really nothing in between. There was one place she suggested that we stop, so we may do that. Um, but really, I think it's just... Uh, little tiny towns and I don't know if we'll really stop off and see any of those or not. Well, we got 10 days to do 500. So yeah, 10 okay. days. So, yep. Oh, we have a stowaway here. Big bug. Ooh, come here. We gotta go outside. <laughs> oh, I hope I got him. Boy, the gas has gone up. Dollar yeah. 88 to 215. 
10 days. Wow. Hopefully, I don't think diesel's gone up too well for much, so I hope. There's just really nothing to show you guys. I'll turn you guys around, but it's just basically uh, lights. That's it. The road you've seen 50 yeah, times. Yeah. Um, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot to see. <laughs> Alright, but I am going to turn this off because I got the light on so that you guys could see us and Scotty needs to drive, so. Well, when you're getting gas, should I wash the windows? I tried to scrub these and then when I was done, <laughs> it was a disaster. Look at, I mean, I you can see, and the only thing that cleaned them up was me just uh, using the um, windshield wiper, but yeah, it'd be okay. good to do that. Alright, I will do that. Oh, somebody really likes Panda. It's so funny, you guys, when people see Panda, their reaction is they love it because they love the color and they love all the uh, solar on it, so. Do what? Was Ozzy getting fuel? Yeah. She's on the other side. All right, I'm gonna get nice, clean windshield. Do us for a few miles, yeah. huh? 300 miles or so. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Thank you. I think too many things. Mm -hmm. Too many lights. Check it out. <laughs> well, we got to the rest stop. <laughs> we have been to this rest stop before. We were out here deciding if we had been here before. <laughs> and we have. Kind of a fun rest stop. The cart war, hostilities erupt, trade wars are nothing new. Hmm. Just historical information. about now? <laughs> you two. <laughs> there, there was a TV show going and had a tornado and I said, don't let Terry see that. She'll think we're in tornado zone. I did good. I didn't say once at all while we were here about anything about tornadoes. <laughs> all right. Well, we came into this side only because it said RVs this way. A lot of times um, it doesn't specify just RVs to one side. And we always try to go to the car side <laughs> because, one, the truckers need these areas to park. Um, we are allowed to park over here, but it's going to get really noisy. There's a lot of truckers on the road that need to pull over. So <laughs> we're going to try to back up over there 
and go around to the other side. Oh, oh, there they go. I'm trying to get the little bunnies. <laughs> Can you shine it right on him? Oh, there's the other one right there. <laughs> so Scotty and I are out here watching the little bunny. Two of them. Little tiny things, aren't they? That's because they're fast. <laughs> I will tell you right now. <laughs> Texas, you guys do everything big. Even your rest stops are big. <laughs> but the bunnies are small. Yeah, they are tiny. But, but they're fast. But look at that red eyes. I... <laughs> he might be able to jump and get you right in the juggler before you know it. That's where we are staying for the night. On the quiet side. On the quiet side <laughs> of the rest it's stop. really a nice place. Yeah. It's actually very quiet back here, and most of the cars are parked down in that section. And then, of course, the truckers are on the other side. All right, well, we tried to see the bunnies. It's a little dark out there. They're sure cute, though. They're rabbits. <laughs> They're little bunnies. Yes, They're, they they were really cute. All right, so we did. We moved over to the other side and of the rest stop here it was really noisy over there plus there's a lot of truckers over there normally we do come to the car section um like we've said in other videos um but for some reason the sign kind of caught aja off guard i think because it said rvs that way right. which we can park in both spots there's actually um the slots we're in are actually for yeah, big there's like rigs. eight slots for like yeah. 30 foot RVs. It's not, they're not big enough for a car and a trailer, but they're perfect for our rigs and everything. Much more quieter on this side. <laughs> I really got you guys mad here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Gosh, I'm always fiddling with this. Um, anyway, so that's where we're gonna stay for the night. Yep. Scotty was just dumping out our water that he bought at Walmart yesterday. It, um, it's it tasted, prime water. I've always had no gotten water there, never had an issue, but for some reason this it just tastes like regular faucet water. Was it glacier? No, it was not glacier. It's oh. primo or prime or whatever. But we, they, nor uh, we normally get glacier, right? No, we normally get whatever's at the Walmart a lot of the times. Oh. Back well, and forth, back and forth, but that this, is, this is just kind of faucet water, though. I think, anyways, they just put a filter on it and call it whatever. <laughs> it's not 29 cents a gallon. Yeah, yeah it's not really, uh, it's not glacier water, that's special, a fact. right? Yep. Um, <clears throat> so we'll definitely have to go get new water tomorrow. We we have drinking water. We Scotty just went ahead and just uh, got a case of water. Yeah, and what'd you do with? I'm this? just putting it. I'm gonna put it in the tank so we can wash our hands with it, and oh. you know, it's it's usable and it's drinkable. It just doesn't taste as yeah. good as regular water. Yeah. So. so then we'll go get water tomorrow. But um, I don't know. I guess that's something we've not really come across where we bought a bunch of water and it didn't taste good. No. Normally it usually tastes really good, so I don't know what the deal was with that, but oh well. Yeah. No big deal. No, we just bought a bottled water for the yeah. yeah, next few days water. until we come across another place. Yeah. When you're traveling in different states, sometimes it's good just to have bottled water because if you're a water snob like I am. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I'm a water snob. Yes. I, I grew up on a well and so it's... um. I can taste all the different stuff in water. Anyways, that's it. I won't bore you guys with water talk anymore. Water! <laughs> it's the end of the night. We're staying here. We're tired. And we're going to get up in the morning. And I don't know if we'll head all the way to um, Houston tomorrow or not. But wherever we go, we're going to take you guys. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you.